Good morning, boys. This is uh, just a, a short video just to go through the assessment task as I am not in today. So, from yesterday's trip to Taronga Zoo, you're now encouraged to research one area in greater depth as part of your depth study. This is uh, your first assessment task. It is worth 20% and you'll be provided with six lessons in class time to complete this task. So let's have a look through it. So the first thing we see is the syllabus outcomes to be assessed and most of those numbers, the 1, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 11 are listed beside each of the, the, um, the questions or the, the areas that you need to uh, address in, in the task. So they will they'll be clarified through those questions. There is a, a printed report part of it and a digital submission uh, to go along with this uh, task. Okay, so if we look at the first section here, boys, we can see that uh, knowledge and understanding, and, and it's been given a weighting of 5%. So this is not the majority of your work. It is the working scientifically that is the majority of, uh, of the marks awarded. And there's been a little bit of confusion about what you need to do in this section. So it, the bare bones of it is you need to pick a topic. And that topic might be around a specific species that is threatened, like the Bellingen River turtle that we looked at yesterday. Or it might be a, an ecosystem at risk and some of the animals that live in those ecosystems. It brings to mind the, the idea of the wildlife corridors and uh, animals at risk, native animals at risk in, uh, in particular areas. So it is deliberately left quite open here in your description. So it says describe in detail the ecosystem. So describe in eco, detail the ecosystem, your chosen topic. Then it says included but not limited to. What I want to see is a very good description. You have given a thorough description of that ecosystem either the ecosystem as a whole or the ecosystem the species lives in. So the ecological niche of the species, uh, that may or may not be included. If you're looking at a specific species, yes it will. If you're looking at an ecosystem in general, you won't need to do the ecological niche because you're talking about the whole ecosystem. The role of predation, competition, symbiosis and disease. The role of human induced selective pressures on the ecosystem and current efforts to restore the ecosystem. So what is currently being done? What has humans done in this induced, human-induced selective pressures? Basically, human, uh, how humans use that area, whether it's overfishing of an area, where it's agriculture, um, fragmentation and, and reduction in environment, those sorts of things. And find that role of predation, competition, symbiosis. So where either a species fits into the area, maybe disease has affected a specific species, say with Tasmanian devil or again the Bellinger River uh, turtle. So those sorts of things. Again, describe in detail. So it is fairly open and some of those dot points will match your topic, others will not match as well. We can clarify that as we get it go along. So scientific, uh, working scientifically is just the broad area that brings in all the skills that we need to do throughout the course. So the ones that are going to be assessed here is uh, develop an inquiry question for your cons conservation initiative grounded within researched information on the problem. So you need to research something and come up with an inquiry question. It should be fairly focused, not too broad. The best research topics have a fairly focused question or focused inquiry question that they're going to look into. The broader the question, the bigger it gets, and then the assignment becomes too out of hand. Next part is research valid and reliable information from at least five resources on your chosen topic. You may have more, but you only need to uh, talk about validity and reliability of five. I will go through this uh, how to practically set out uh, valid and reliable information for your five resources in an upcoming lesson. As to with the bibliography 
It says uh, a bibliography must be a company or research referencing according to the Marston standards, which is the Harvard system of referencing. Again, I will teach you in class a couple of ways to go about this. You may have used a Harvard generator. There are some issues with Harvard generators. If you put the wrong information in, the wrong information will come out. Uh, also, Word documents will have a referencing section on it. They're quite good as well and you can input the information into your Word document as you go so that one you find, once you find a resource that's good you can put it into uh, your, your referencing list as you go and then you're not left doing it at the last minute. Next bit says select appropriate qualitative and quantitative data to provide a clear understanding of the current state of the problem including the outcomes of current efforts to re revive the ecosystem. So what is the problem? What it provides some data in terms of either habitat loss or uh, reduction in, in, in numbers, reduction in breeding, those sorts of things, if you can provide some data on that. Uh, qualitative might be, you know, the, the reduction in, in uh, diversity in the ecosystem, so what sort of species are no longer there. You may also like to include, if it's something that's been ongoing going for a while, what are the current efforts? There might be a current effort, a breeding program in place. So what is going on what, with those breeding programs? A bit of a description on that. The next two parts are the majority of this task. Okay, so these 11.6 and 11.7 are the majority of this task. So it wants you to find creative and practical solutions to address the conservation issue and describe specific activities you would undertake to achieve this aim. So this is the idea that we were looking at yesterday, is to find things that break through. Ideas that are achievable can be funded if it's, you know, something that will never likely get off the ground because no one will ever fund it, then it's not going to be practical. So creative and practical solutions to, to address the conservation issue. The mobile phone um, recycling is a, is a good example. Okay. How do you creatively get it out to the people? And practical, because it's, you know, those phones are, are put into landfill. So the last bit is, in a digital format of your choice, design an advertising campaign aimed at young adults on the importance of this wildlife-focused conservation initiative. Um, this, is, this is where you need to, uh, you know, provide some sort of... You know, But the digital format of your choice, uh, it could be a movie, it could be some sort of app or, or uh, advertisement campaign through uh, Instagram or, or um, InstaTweet, whatever we call them these days. There are many, many of them. So digital format of your choice. Um, online posters, yeah, but let's try and keep it creative and, and something that will cut through. And that's the biggest thing about trying to sell scientific information or initiatives about conservation, it needs to cut through in, in what is a saturated market and, and a market with young adults who can be very weary about um, conservation because they've, they've uh, heard of it since they were in primary school and, and to be honest, sometimes they just don't care once they get to high school. They've heard about it for so long and it seems like it's too big. So you need to find something that will cut through, something that is achievable, um, and, and will aim, aim to uh, address young adults. So submission of your task. Uh, repeat, report printed on A4 paper. There's a 2,500 words on it, but that includes all sections, including the aim, uh, the, the background information of the, the description of the um, ecosystem or the, the species. So all of that is in, introduced there. You don't have to get to 2,500 words. I, I just don't want a mini thesis. If you feel like you've covered all the information in shorter amount and it's detailed um, yet succinct, that, that will be fine. So the last section here is your marking criteria. Okay, and it hasn't come up too well on my screencasting. We'll just... Uh, Remove this across here. 
Okay, so as we can see, this is our, it's out of 10 marks, but it will be, it'll come down to 5 marks. This is your description. So thoroughly describes the ecosystem, your chosen topic. Um, describes in detail would be a substantial. Uh, elementary describes the ecosystem of the, the chosen topic. And then the last one would be a limited, in the one to three mark range, a limited description. Uh, the breakup of your working scientifically skills. So we have problem solving. Again, this is, this is out of 10. So there's a, a good lot of marks for this particular skill. So extensive proposal of creative and practical solutions to address the conservation issue in that top bracket. Okay. We can see it comes down to proposes creative and practical solutions, so it's not extensive anymore. And then down in the, the next section, the elementary section, proposes some solutions to address the conservation issue. So you can see the mark of range, if you're aiming for the top mark, then it needs to be a number, extensive proposal of creative and practical solutions, rather than just one idea. Um, Again, communicating ideas, there's a lot of marks involved with that, that section there. Uh, we highly creative and informative digital presentation, moving down to a creative and informative digital presentation. And in the elementary informative digital presentation. So you can see, again, the, the sliding scale of, of how much uh, creativity is put into it um, and the marks that are awarded. Final section, this is all together. So the 10 marks here are for working scientifically, conducting secondary source information. So as much as writing a decent bibliography is good, accurate, accurate referencing of five sources in the Marsden Standard and assessing the validity and reliability um, of at least five sources, they are placed within these other ideas as well. Okay, your, your data analysis and developing a focused inquiry question. They are all put in together and adding up to 10 marks. As we can see one more time, there is far more marks in this section here, in your problem solving and your communication of ideas, than there is in your referencing and validity and the uh, finding qualitative and quantitative data. Those are all put in together to a total of 10 marks. So I hope that clarifies things for you boys. Um, any further questions, please email me over the weekend or I'll, I'll see you tomorrow and uh, we can go through any issues that you have. For today's lesson, please try and pick a topic. I've provided lots of resources uh, there for you as a starting point. Um, try and pick a topic that interests you and start to mind map it out. You know, what the issue is, what can be done, and what sort of ideas are creative and achievable. And then finally, how you are going to advertise that to, to a cohort of, of students about your age or young adults. How to cut through to make them care about what you're talking about. So good luck with it so far, boys. Plenty of time to do it. and. Uh, I, I wish you uh, all success and really, really get you um, stuck into it and, and give it a, a good crack in this uh, this first assessment task. Thanks, boys.